Hello, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create reusable or shared components in Angular. As you already know, Angular is a component-based framework uh, or a platform as they call themselves, so it is important and a good practice to create a lot of uh, reusable or shared components uh, in your application. So why is that important? Because if you create a shared component and you reuse the, it across your application, and once uh, when you have to change something, you'll just change it uh, in your shared component and the change will apply to all places where you called uh, your uh, component. Or you're just going to, to save on uh, code lines because uh, you will call a shared component in one line instead of uh, writing everything from the beginning on all places where you need a uh, feature you're creating. So uh, here in our Visual Studio code on the left side, I have a shared module, which is just a module uh, which has no routing, as you can see here. And uh, the module is holding my shared components here in this uh, components folder. Uh, that module is uh, exporting the components I want to share with others. And the uh, module is important, so let's say here in app module or anywhere where you want to uh, have these components available uh, in your application. So that's basically it, just share it, share, create a module and uh, call it here and export the components in this module uh, to make them available to the other places you call this components and module. So here uh, we are going to create a navigation bar today. Uh, which is a reusable component uh, which you can see okay here ng generate component and we'll place it in the share folder and we'll put that in the components folder and with the name uh, bar uh, also which is important to add flag export uh, because that export flag uh, we'll add uh, um, our component to the exports here and make it available when we call this shared module here and also what I like to do and what is uh, good practice is to change the change detection strategy from uh, default to on push. We'll talk about this change detection strategy in the future videos but uh, you just follow this, uh, this good best practices things. Okay. change detection and we'll say on push and hit enter and it is going to create a component here and this components folder and as you, see, you can see here it is automatically exported here and added the declarations in our shared module so this is it basically and here in our navbar component uh, we are going here and I'm going to add just temporary an array of items. Let's say items equals, okay, one, two, three. Okay, this will be our testing uh, array of components. And uh, here in an FBAR component, I'm going to create uh, just uh, a list ul li and uh, let's say ng oops ng4 equals let item of items items and we'll just call it here item and check this here actually uh, we are not going to check here before we call this uh, this shared component. So in my public component here, I'll just before the router outlet call this app navbar component to have it here in the in the component. So as you can see here, we have a one, two, three our navigation bar so here in the navbar component 
I have already added actually I'm not added I'm going to add some stylings here so I'll say okay ul and the list uh, list uh, will know uh, will be just uh, without any styling so I'll say uh, list style type none and uh, display inline inline and uh, I'll add the class sorry active uh, which will be applied when the li is uh, li has a, an active class that class I'll say okay or red and you can add font weight to be bold okay and here uh, just for testing purposes add, add class here say okay active and then we'll switch to our here and you can see here we have one two three which is bold but uh, we just have to say okay margin let's say 10 pixels and here I'm adding padding to zero and margin to zero as well okay here it is so now what we have to do here uh, instead of this active we'll remove it for a second and uh, we are going to add uh, here uh, a variable which will store an active uh, item so we'll say active item is a type of number number and here what we can do is uh, say okay on click on click we'll make this uh, active item item equals to i but i will be our index here so we just have to add an in index uh, so let, let i equals index of the loop here so uh, when i click here we'll add this uh, index to our active item why is that important here on this step because that active class we're going to add as ng class and we'll say okay uh, we'll apply active class if uh, this uh, here is equal to i so if this uh, this uh, is true uh, active class will be applied so any class you want to here here is just uh, by a row and by this checking checking the statement if the statement is true it will apply here and uh, let's test that okay if i click here we have one we have two we have three so i have just fixed something uh, i'll move this margin up okay so that's it it works now uh, if we just uh, want to have a first item in our navigation bar active on on load we can just uh, say okay active item instead of this so we'll just say zero and we don't have to add types uh, as uh, typescript it automatically uh, select a number as a type because it's a number or if it's string it will be a string so no need for uh, adding uh, types so this is just uh, one thing which we can use and now we are going to uh, to convert this to something reusable so here instead of these items uh, array here uh, i'm going to add an input named items uh, which is going to be type of string array so we are expecting a string here array of strings 
and now here I just have to import from Angular Core this input and now we'll move this items Sorry. Okay, input here, and uh, now in the public component where I called this uh, navbar, I'll add the following. But first, I'll just put this items here in a TypeScript of public folder. Save it, and go to public component, and here in the app navbar, I'll say okay items equals to our items in the public component so they will be they'll show here so as you can see we already created these items so to be sure that this here oops, I'll show it like this okay uh, now are in the public component Okay, now we're in the public components. So we have created this and we are reusing it here. But uh, the thing is, uh, we want uh, this now bar to do actually something here. And we just don't want to have these items like this. And we want to emit something uh, to say uh, the parent component that we actually did something and we selected something. So here. Uh, I'm going to add an output which will be called uh, selected uh, which is a new event emitter here and the output from Angular Core. So uh, take a look at this, at, uh, this here. Uh, it happens from time to time that uh, this wrong event emitter is important and uh, this shouldn't be here so we want uh, event emitter from uh, angular core not from node events so here this is this is better and now here uh, we are going to create a function which will get a data and emit that data to the parent component so we'll say okay uh, call it on select let's say on select and provide an item which we selected and the index why am i providing the index here because of the following i'll say whenever we click on that we are not going to call that uh, from the uh, HTML here. So we don't need this anymore. Here. We will add here. Okay, say uh, this active item equals to index. Index. So every time we, uh, we click uh, on this select or an item, uh, we'll add an active item uh, index to that an active item here and also we will emit this item here so uh, this selected uh, emit and we'll emit an item so that's it we just have to go to the implementation of the navbar and to change these things here I'll say I'll say uh, I'll select and add this item and I as an I index here. So that's it. We have to click this and to check does it work. So it still uh, still changes these colors. So which means that it works. And uh, we are going to output something here in our public component. So basically we don't need this navbar component anymore here to do anything instead of just calling it and uh, 
doing some things here uh, as we have added these items here and we want uh, to have something actually something to happen when we click on any of these here we can add a new function here and say uh, on select item let's call it like that and uh, for the, for example I'll add some select item register string so you know, when uh, we select this here from our HTML I will change this selected item to something we selected so this selected item equals to item here and we just have to init this so uh, if uh, as we have uh, added an event emitter here in our app navbar we are calling it differently and anything uh, instead of these items in the square brackets we'll just say like this selected equals to unselected item and uh, as this is event emitter we have to forward event which is actually the thing we the item we passed through the clicking that and here i'll just show that selected item so select item from the bar is like this okay here we have nothing right now but uh, we when we click we have this two three so as you could see on the first uh, as we have uh, selected this uh, like uh, made it pre-selected we haven't uh, we haven't uh, forwarded anything to this so we haven't passed the data but if we want this to be selected and to pass the data we're just going here in the number component and say okay uh, on init we'll say the same thing here uh, select uh, just a second uh, active item items you can see like this items from zero so this okay so we have it and when we click on any that's it and this is basically it when it comes to these components but uh, if you want to reuse that component to see that uh, scenario we can uh, create another navbar here in our public uh, component and say okay we just want another items to show somewhere I'll say items too and we'll call that something like uh, for four five six even we can call numbers doesn't matter and what we just have to do is just to call this navbar somewhere here I'll have HR okay and say items is now items too so uh, we can change this also if you want to show another ones so select the items too let's see select item two and this okay this is just for testing purposes so it's going to be like just test but we are going to add it to see actually how this works so as you can see here the first item first number has selection of one two three and uh, mm, let me click uh -huh. okay my bad i have just change this here two so i have seen that they have the same thing okay here
hotkey that was that was the issue. I uh, just uh, call it same same item twice. Okay, here. So the first one here and first one here are selected, and they are one and four. And we can see here like three, and we'll show it like three, and the uh, eight number will be like eight number here, and so on and so on. So this is basically reusable. And if we want to change something to this uh, navbar here, we can just go here and change. Let's say stand that we want to be blue, and to all places where we call it, uh, it will be blue. So that's it. As you could see, it's really easy, and you just have to take a look at these things, and also you just have to, to uh, know that uh, these components have inputs and outputs, and it depends on our needs. Uh, inputs could be anything, or outputs are just going to be events uh, with something. Uh, following this, uh, you can create also uh, forms or anything which could be reused across your application. So that's it for today's video and uh, thanks for watching and uh, if you like the video you don't have to share and subscribe, just save it somewhere. Thank you very much, see you.